हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वरदान कंसल्टिंग इंजीनियर्स इंटर्नशिप प्रोजेक्ट ओरिएंटेशन दिस प्रोजेक्ट ओरिएंटेशन इज फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल टेक्नो कमर्शियल एनालिसिस प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट टॉपिक दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेवरेबल प्रोजेक्ट इन अमॉन्ग द स्टूडेंट्स आउट ऑफ ऑल ऑल द प्रोजेक्ट दैट वी आर ऑफरिंग प्रोजेक्ट टॉपिक्स दैट वी आर ऑफरिंग बिकॉज टेक्नो इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल इज मोस्ट फेवरेबल machine that a lot of people want to drive a lot of people want to work on but our project is not related to technical technicalities of electric vehicle and that is the thing we want to explain in this project orientation this will be a very short video of five slides so it is my request to please watch this video till the end so that you will get to know understand what is there in this project who can do this project and what are the things that you are going to learn as a intern and what is the benefits of doing this project okay so before we start let's do the project introduction the electric vehicle industry work on three steps the step number 1 is innovation designing and manufacturing okay so people do the innovation for electric vehicle do the designing and do the manufacturing the first step the first part of it second step is the techno commercial analysis and the third step is the sales and service so now when we see that the first step and the third step are the easiest one you can do the innovation you can do the design you can manufacture but electric vehicle is a product this is not something for business to business kind of it is a product where common people need to use it the common people will use the electric vehicle only if they understand the technicality of the vehicle the technicality of the product and the commerciality of the product also the product should be technical and commercial viable technical and commercial feasible then only people will understand so in that time even the technical that's why the technical commercial analysis is very important and very crucial for promoting electric vehicle in in a country like india and the government also plays an important role in that because the commercial terms also come with taxes also come with the policies also come with lot of other duties and all okay the technical terms yes it is also come with a lot of technicalities this internship is all about techno commercial analysis of electric vehicle so if you think that this internship is going to help you in designing innovating new design innovation related to the batteries related to the design and uh, the you know uh, the outer body of the electric vehicle and all if you are thinking this internship is going to be like this please don't do this internship stop here right now this internship is about techno commercial analysis the feasibility of the technical and the commercial feasibility of electric vehicle in india so that normal people can buy the electric vehicle use the electric vehicle with the help of government policies and all okay so this internship is not related to sales and services also you are not going to be a salesman and we are not going to talk about the services of electric vehicle so the step 1 and step 3 is not relevant step 2 is relevant here okay now in 2020 today the electric vehicle constitutes less than 1% of total number of automobiles in india total number of automobiles okay less than 1% i don't know about whatever the actual number was the percentage is very less even less than 1 1% in next 10 years it is expected that the number of electric vehicle in the total automobiles in india will increase to 25% even more than that it means hell lot of electrical vehicle is going to used by the, uh, the by the people of india and hence they need people they need engineers they need managers technical managers they need who will tell them and understand them the techno commercial benefits of the electric vehicle okay so that's why it is uh, the career point of view also or knowledge point of view also skill development point of view also this internship is going to help you in in a 
very big uh, way. So this expansion from 1% to 25% or maybe beyond that, there are a few barriers right now. Okay. The first, the barriers are the acceptance of the EV, the government policies, okay, and the exact consumer benefits. These are the barriers. The barrier is not innovation, designing, and the manufacturing. They can do, they can manufacture so fast because the uh, the car manufacturing companies, they are manufacturing huge, a lot of number of cars that they cannot sell. So they can manufacture a lot of number of electric vehicles also. But it is not going to be accepted by a lot of public when there is no government support and there is no clarity on the techno-commercial feasibility. Okay, So that's why when you do this internship, you will definitely understand techno-commercial feasibility and you can put this point in front of the HR or any other interviewer that what exactly you have done in this internship and how this is going to benefit and all these things. Okay. So what is going to be the intense work in this electric vehicle? The first uh, work is the understanding the basics of electric vehicle. What are the elect what is electric vehicle? What is the uh, technical data sheet related to electric vehicle? What are the companies who are offering electric vehicles? So all these basics of electric vehicle, it is something that is very important in the first module of this internship. Okay. Second thing is the case study of electrical ratio. So whenever you talk about electrical vehicle in India, there is one electric vehicle that is nowadays very common from Kolkata to Lucknow to Delhi to I think Chennai also. That electrical rickshaw. Okay. And definitely, and that you can say that that is a huge success. Everybody is using it. And how it become a huge success? What is the case study? What is the pros and cons of that model? Can we can we replace all the auto rickshaw of the of India? Maybe hundred million auto rickshaws are there. Can we replace everything through uh, by electric rickshaw? Okay, what is the pros and cons? How it becomes success? And definitely in being environmental friendly, it's not the part of it. There should be some technical and commercial terms that these electrical rickshaw owners are getting. That's why they are keep on you know, buying it and replicating that model. You need to do some kind of case study research on that. How it becomes successful. Okay, when you do that case study, sir, you can think that these kind of points can be replicated to a normal electric vehicle cars. Okay. The third is electric vehicle techno-commercial benefit analysis. See, suppose in current scenario, in 2020, if somebody wants to buy electric vehicle, if your friend says that I want to buy electric vehicle, please help me in this. Okay, so I want to buy electric vehicle. Please help me in this. So, how you gonna help him? What are the list of the things that you can put? That these are the list of benef technical benefits. These are the list of the commercial benefit of electric vehicle. Okay, what kind of benefit there he is getting while buying electric vehicle? So that techno commercial benefit analysis you need to do. Okay, and. When you do this technical commercial, so it's not like that everything is done already. There's no changes needed. No, there are a lot of other countries like China, US, some European countries. They included new, new things while promoting electric vehicle. What are the things they have done and what we can do it in India or not? That is the thing that you need to think of while doing electric vehicle commercial, uh, techno commercial benefit analysis. The fourth module is the summarizing and reporting. Okay. And you need to prepare a final report related to your uh, whatever you have done in this internship. The report should be a corporate standard. Okay. You can use that report to, for feature reference also. What the interns is going to learn in this uh, internship? The first thing is subject matter learning that I told in each and every uh, internship. When you start searching for electric vehicle or start searching for a lot of uh, electric vehicle designing, electric vehicle things, when you do a lot of things, then definitely you will gain a lot of knowledge related to the subject matter. Subject matter is the electric vehicle. Okay. What is the technical data sheet? What are the benefits currently people are getting? And lots of blah, blah related to EV. 
the second thing is awareness of the current situation you will understand that right now if somebody want to buy electric vehicle how it is beneficial what are the promotions that they are getting and what is the cons like consequences that good they are going to face if they are buying electric vehicle everything is not very rosy right now so you will definitely get to know the what the current situation awareness of the current situation now analytical thinking of for the solutions when you do the case study analysis of electrical rickshaw toto you will find out that how this toto becomes so successful and how if we want to replicate this kind of model to all across the country for electric vehicle cars electrical bus and all okay what kind of solutions that you can think okay so you will definitely your mind will be definitely think about new solutions and all data analysis documentation and reporting you need to analyze a lot of data related to electric vehicle okay you can download a lot of things analyze it make a documentation and make a final report so that is also a kind of learning you will get in this internship modules and task so we will provide you there are four modules in this internship and for each module there is one task related to this the task is a list of queries that you need to solve in your own words after downloading it after searching on internet don't copy paste from the internet directly try to write the task in your own words that will give you the conceptualization and learning okay the interns need to have a very good pc laptop smartphone to do those tasks okay and the motto of each and more module is to understand and analyze the real situation problem activities related to the project and is more practical learning sources needed to follow rather than theoretical don't try to follow any theoretical books and all like published in like 2005 or 1995 try to gather more information from internet so that it will be better to have uh, analyze the real situations the benefits of the interns there are three benefits which is free and which is the technical benefit of this internship first is the knowledge enhancement you definitely you will before and after of this internship your knowledge will be enhanced related to the electrical vehicle especially the techno commercial part of it okay the second uh, benefit is the skill enhancement the way you uh, do the case study analysis related to the uh, related to the electric vehicle your skill will be enhanced the way you make a corporate reports and all so you will have some skill enhancement after this internship third thing is when you interact with your mentor your hr okay and watch the corporate skill development program pre placement training program during this internship definitely you will your corporate culture corporate industry process will be increased it will be different okay these three are the internship benefit which is free you can do it this internship and get it now if you want to proper document this internship and get the admin benefits of it we have few admin benefits first one is e verified certification on flexible dates second one is a letter of recommendation from the mentor third one is the certificate verification like when you give this certificate to colleges or different uh, uh, apply for jobs they send us a verification that we need to verify that this certificate is genuine and we need sometimes we need to send feedback to the college that you know feed, feedback on the internship sign and stamp and send it to the college give them some numbers and all then special recommendation for a foreign university when you apply for foreign universities they send us a link for like do a special recommendation so our admin team, team will take care of all these things okay we will also get the consent to use the mentor's name as a reference from the industry that is also helpful we encourage you on linkedin like liking and liking and providing you linkedin recommendations and if you want we can also send you the original transcript courier to your home so overall there are a lot of things need to be learned in this uh, internship program especially in electric vehicle techno commercial analysis okay and if you have any doubts any queries you can reach us anytime thank you very much take care of yourself